We're here at InnoViz, which we covered at the LA Auto Show. I'm here with the CEO and co-founder of InnoViz, Omer. Um, tell us a little bit about what you've got here, because when we saw you at LA, you didn't have a live demo. Here you have a live demo. Tell us what's going on here. Oh, cool, great. So actually at CES, we're now demonstrating uh, a product that we're going to start shipping soon. So we wanted to make this opportunity to meet with all those uh, companies that we've been in contact so, for many months now. Uh, so they can demonstrate what we're going to ship them and uh, this is going to happen very soon. So we're showing here our first solid state lighter. What you see here is that the point cloud coming out from the, from the lighter. You see the range information, you right. see the intensity. Uh, we show here also some of the capabilities that we have on the software. So those screen around you, uh, you will see the computer vision that we do that in order to uh, see object detection, classification of cars and people. Uh, we do slam in order to do the gear fencing. And uh, you know, it's like a lot of uh, things happen for Innovis. We, we just got a design win uh, with an OEM. Nice. Uh, yeah, we, so we're going to mass production with a private, like it's a level three, level four uh, uh, series production. So it's real volume for us. It's a great, like the best thing that we could ask for. Right. Uh, a very strong OEM. So yeah, it's a uh, good times for Innovis. So. Presumably, sometime this year, we're going to see this unit uh, or a similar unit out on the roads. Or, wow, okay. I mean, the next year we'll probably see a lot of like uh, engineering cars, like in development. Right. Sure. But uh, the the start of production of the customer is like later on. Uh, but yeah, next year we're going to start shipping those. So I hope you'll see them everywhere. Actually, what you see here is our lighter is mounted on a car. You don't see the car because it's like uh, the car is here. And uh, you see that uh, while we drive with the car with the lighter on top, we just uh, record all the data on 3D information and create in, in real time that those uh, high definition models. So basically, this is can be used for uh, for the car to actually learn how the how the, uh, the location looks like before in the car. Right, right. And presumably, at some point, we could have m multiple cars on the road yeah. sharing the information. Right. So this is like really scalable because of the cost of the lighter and it's going to be everywhere. Right. You will have repeatedly uh, built uh, maps all the time. Right. Very cool. Awesome. This is the data coming out from our lighter, so you see the trucks, you see the people. Uh, here you will see the, the motorcycle coming out. So we, we use computer vision algorithms in order to, not only to provide like very raw data, like very rich, but also to classify. Say this is a person, this is a, a bike, in order for the car to drive more safely. Is there a component of this uh, of, on the back end where you're kind of storing this and, and uh, you know, the, there's like a machine learning component where it's, you're building on the information. This is what we do offline. Like yeah. We, we take recordings of a lot of data. Right. And we annotate it and you know, we do the machine learning process. But at the end of the day, it's like those uh, neural networks are going to run live better than the system in order to provide that like, decision making. So it will be part of the, the, the product. Awesome. Well, Omar, let's look in the, let's look in the LiDAR and let's wave goodbye, all right? <laughs>